ladies and gentlemen. Now, with everybody going a little bit nuts on the Archangel summons today, I've had a lot of requests to do an in-depth gear breakdown for both Sario and Tarmiel and talk about what gear I've chosen and some of the reasons why and what I believe are the best setups for both characters. Because with the Archangels, it's very important not only to consider them as characters, but also their grace abilities and their value as associations as well. And especially Tarmiel moving forward to the one Escanor meta has some crazy value and I'm going to show you some really cool stuff with his um uh, grace and association ability but we are going to start off talking about Sariel because Sariel he has the source he has the numbers this guy hits like an absolute train and there is so much burst damage so in order to fully utilize and kind of lean into that we've gone for a four attack and two crit damage build again you can get the crit damage pieces from the pvp coin shop and also the chest that you get on a weekly basis uh, in terms of the bracelet rolls I've gone for full attack on the bracelet and also ring you can actually get slightly more damage if you leave a couple of crit damage rolls as well so if you're building a gear set and you want to leave a couple of those and aren't bothered about using him for an association again a couple of crit damage rolls certainly will not hurt the character but he already has like quite high base crit damage so you don't want to go for um uh, what is it too many of those in comparison and again like defense stuff fairly standard you just want defense on that and then on the health pieces just all health there he's got some really decent base life still so again even for pve you don't really need life still you just want to like maximize the health there for the most part uh but again fairly straightforward to gear uh there are some people that have geared him on the japanese version with health and also crit damage but i think for metas moving forward and also general pve use uh like attack crit damage is just so much more enjoyable so yeah personally i am of the belief that the attack set just like massively outweighs the value of the health set generally speaking for the character himself but then also when you think about his value as an association his grace is insanely overpowered for any character that has like very high crit chance because it means whenever that character crits if you've got them as the associated linked character those crits ignore 50 percent of the enemy's crit defense and that is absolutely huge man that is so incredibly powerful and that's kind of another reason if you're going for kind of like a crit team or strategy where you want like maximum attack on the association so that's why ideally the longer term plan even like when you're building the gear set again a few crit damage rolls is fine but in the longer term you want maximum attack just so you can give maximum attack to the associated character uh, if you do want to use like various crit teams and strategies just to quickly cover Sariel's base stats as well so you know a little bit more about the character he's got pretty good pierce rate nice resistance regeneration rate ain't too much but that doesn't really matter uh crit chance is very very high you got 63 percent there his crit damage is uh bumped up by 20 percent from my two crit damage pieces uh but still with cosmetics it's 208 so it's really really good massive chunk of crit damage already uh some all right crit resistance crit defense is pretty nice recovery rate ain't too bad and also 23 percent life still which especially considering that his damage Damage is absolutely nuts again scales up so incredibly nicely so just to show you how hard my um uh, Sariel is hitting like no association no team uh, just on like the training dummy knight here uh, again I got Sariel 6-6 six, six, uh, when we come to use the ultimate but the average cleave card is dealing about 124 uh, to 126 K damage there yeah, the gold cleave is just so much more powerful as well. When you bring in, like, Halloween Gotha, it is pretty ridiculous. The single target card. Again, his Tornado um, Power Strike effect deals even more damage the more resistance the opponent has. So if you've got Droll's Commandment, you can really capitalize and take advantage of this. But you can see um, uh, on the gold card, even without any synergies in play, like, you've just got massive, massive healing as well. Like, every single one is, like, almost 200,000 damage, if not a little bit more if you get, like, with the crits and like almost a 50k heal and then on the ultima uh, almost guaranteed to crit against any opponent that doesn't have like really high crit resistance there and 6-6 six, six, uh, comes close to dealing about 400,000 damage so yeah really really nice but just to give you a bit of a taste of Sariel but yeah Sariel's like pretty straightforward man attack crit damage just load up attack on everything that you can and yeah easy game easy life
Now, Tamiyo is quite different. He's a very quirky character to gear up, and again, mainly a control support focused character, but his association is absolutely nuts. So, with Tamiyo, you want to go for all six defense pieces and have three 20% defense bonuses. And the most important things to roll are the necklace and earrings to get maximum defense there. So, you can see we've almost got like, uh, you know, we got perfect stuff on the earrings, but almost perfect on the necklace. Uh, again, you still need like a good belt, you still need like good ring, good bracelet, everything like that. But defense is really important for this character because uh, all of his core abilities, aside from the drain scale off defense, so his ultimate inflicts damage equal to. Um, 630% uh, of his defense on all enemies and also restores health of all allies by 30% of the damage dealt. So his ultimate, instead of dealing attack damage, deals defense damage. So again, defense is very, very important for this dude. Uh, plus you have his grace as well, which is whenever he takes damage during the enemy's turn, the hero recovers health equal to 150% of defense at the start of your turn there. And again, this not only applies to him, uh, but it also being a great Grace ability applies to an associated character if you're not using him. And this Grace ability is just generally amazing. It's so much healing, but with certain characters, if you can like buff up their defense even more, and there are characters like Tang Dian, which we're going to show in a minute, that can get like 200% more defense related stats. This goes nuts, man. This ability goes absolutely ham there. So again, max defense that he's giving on the association, more healing via that link as well. And also his unique ability decreases all enemies max health by the value of 200% of his defense as soon as you enter the battle so that's kind of like immediate damage but not really it's just like reducing max health uh, so overall it's even more valuable than immediate damage there so the only thing that scales off attack is his um a single target drain and again the only time this is really going to fail is if you're maybe fighting like a Valenti comp but you still got some like really good base stats so uh, this still hits like a freaking truck man on the gold card uh, even with a full defensive setup there and then again he's got his uh, stance damage reduction taunt so this doesn't really like scale off anything like too important there uh, but again kind of the three things that you really need out of this character scale off defense uh, but the craziest thing which we're now going to showcase is the value that he has as an association. So here we got Tamiyo as the association for Tank Dian. So you can see with the full defense set, we are giving her 1.5k additional defense there. So uh, yeah, this is going to be a really, really fun little match. So I'm actually just playing myself here. This is my free to play account. And I'm just going to like nuke into Tank Dian here um, and pay very close attention to the regeneration. Like I think probably uh, first or second turn, and then a bit later in the match as well. So I need to start off on my free-to-play here. We're just going to, like, throw the Lost Vein cards in, um, and maybe, like, Derriere buff as well. I actually don't have, like, full gear on Derry or King. But let's start breaking down that tank, Deanne. And again, just, like, focus on the healing here. So it should be probably about, like, just over 20,000 regularly. So 24,000 there we healed. But now we've got a really, really cool play. So we go for the merger here. And then if we upgrade Deanne. And I think we wait till next turn, actually. Yeah, I, th I think that's the right play here. So again, in a usual PvP team, you'd definitely be able to do uh, a little bit more. But let's see if we can get it down a fair chunk. Let's go for, I think, the swipe on Dairy Area as well. So, again, we're healing for 150% of Deanne's defense at the start of every single turn. However, once we activate this bonus, which is going to give us 200% more defense-related stats, the healing goes wild, boys. It goes absolutely crazy. It's like a full heal every single friggin' turn, man. It's, like, way too good. Let's chuck off the pumpkin bombs. And also last for three turns on top of that as well. And Tang Dian, while she may not be so relevant right now, because again, there's lots of Lost Vein, lots of Sariel, as soon as the one Escanor comes, man, she's she's pretty damn nuts. She really is uh, doing some crazy stuff. But this, uh, to be honest, man, I think this is going to be still pretty solid for damage reduction. Again, 200% defense related stats. We ain't really like taking a whole lot of damage from that Lost Vein there. And you can see there, we healed up for 73,000. 
and that's going to happen every single turn that we've got that active. So yeah, it's just absolutely mental when it comes to countering the um, uh, the one Escanor in future metas. Like, it's just crazy, crazy value, man. So yeah, that's just something uh, very important to keep in mind for the future, that Tarmiel has this um, just fantastic use uh, on the one Escanor counter teams, but also teams that, like, run the one Escanor as well, because a very popular team on the Japanese version at the moment is, uh, like, Green Gotha, Tank Dian, with Tarmiel Association, and also the one Escanor. Um, and Escanor just hides behind Tank Dian. She's just, like, you know, tanking everything, healing up like crazy. Let's go for, like, two Golden Lost Vein cards here, and also a, um, a King card as well. Should be able to tank this, man. Let's have a little bit of a look. And Dian's just got like a standard uh, health set on. Again, you want maximum uh, tankiness and maximum CC. But again, she's not quite as good in uh, against, uh, what is it, Sario and Lost Fame. But look at the heal here, man. Again, pretty much uh, taking up over 50% there. So really, really valuable. And if you do have like Guild Thunder on the back line or somebody further increasing uh, your defense, then yeah, this heal just goes absolutely crazy. So I just want to show you that really cool interaction. Uh, if you do have Tarmiel to like keep in mind for the future. Uh, but that is pretty much it for the, the gear setups and tour. Again, like they're both quite uh, weird and quirky characters. But once you understand the gear, like they're very straightforward setups to build. Uh, but definitely like focus on Sario, I would say for the... Um, uh, the meantime but keep in mind that Tarmiel is a really good control character if you do enjoy playing those teams and if you're looking to have a very strong the one Escanor counter team uh, with green tank Dian again his association is just an absolute MVP it gives so much healing and there's also a lot of PV scenarios as well uh, where again that massive healing can be incredibly useful for uh, so anyway ladies and gentlemen if this video was helpful please do smash that like button that'd be greatly appreciated aside from that thank you all very much for watching take care and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.